Welcome back. Nice to see you and it is my pleasure to have you here. Today's recipe is to stir fry lotus root with shredded dried squid. Hope you like it. The lotus root in this recipe can actually be made into two dishes. Just like I did, you can easily have two dishes at once. Lotus root tastes great with dried squid flavor. Lotus root can strengthen the spleen and stop diarrhea, stimulate appetite and soothe the stomach, which is beneficial for those with poor appetite and loss of appetite to recover their health. Welcome to subscribe my channel and save this recipe so you may refer back when you need this recipe. Ingredients Lotus root Dried shredded squid Ginger Soak dried shredded squid with warm water. Peel and sliced lotus root. If you like to eat crispy lotus root, you can prepare the ingredients and stir fry the lotus root together. The lotus root will be crispy and delicious. If you like a softer texture, you can turn lotus root into two dishes. The method is very simple. First, use the lotus root to cook lotus root soup. After soup is cooked, take out the lotus root and use it to stir fry this dish. Chopped ginger. Stir-fry chopped ginger until fragrant. Add shredded dried squid. lotus root slices. Add water from side of wok. tablespoon oyster sauce. One teaspoon salt. Plate lotus root. Let's enjoy Delisa with stir fry lotus root. Good quality lotus root does not smell very strong, but has a fresh fragrance. If the lotus root is fresh, it will also have some soil fragrance. If the lotus root smells bad or sour, it has gone bad. To judge whether the lotus root is bad, you can also observe the lotus root silk. Good lotus root has more lotus root silk and is not easy to break when pulled. If the lotus root is bad, there is almost no lotus root silk after breaking the lotus root, and the lotus root silk is not connected. 
There are three types of people who are not suitable for eating lotus root. Pregnant women, people with indigestion, and people with cold dysmenorrhea. Lotus root is also very delicious when eaten raw, so some people choose to eat it this way, thinking that it is okay to eat it this way. But in fact, this is a wrong way to eat it, especially for people with indigestion, because lotus root itself is not easy to digest. People with indigestion are more likely to cause gastrointestinal malabsorption, which in turn induces disease. We should be careful not to feed lotus root to the above three types of people in life, and lotus root cannot be eaten together with soybeans, white radish, and animal liver. Apart from this, eating lotus root for a long time is good for health. Lotus root tastes delicious and is loved by many people, but once it goes bad, it is no longer recommended to eat it, and it doesn't taste good. So how to identify whether the lotus root has gone bad? We can first look at the skin of the lotus root to determine whether it is bad. We can judge by the color. Generally, good lotus roots are yellow-white, and there are also red ones. If the skin of the lotus root becomes darker and has large dark brown patches on it, it is most likely bad. If lotus root is not stored properly, it will easily breed bacteria and microorganisms, causing it to deteriorate. If you want to store the lotus root for a long time, you can first clean the lotus root, and then put it in a water tank. Be careful not to use an iron container, fill it with clean water, and it is recommended to change the water once a week, so that it can be stored for a longer time. By the way, if you are looking for vegetable recipes, welcome to check out my vegetable playlist where there are 783 vegetable recipes available to date. There are three thousands of delicious recipes on my YouTube, check it out for more delicious recipes ya! Yeah. I will upload bilingual video recipes every day. Chinese video will be uploaded at noon while English version at 8.30 pm. Welcome to follow and save recipes you like. Remember to follow my channel so you will be able to find me when you need cooking inspiration. I share delicious recipes every day so don't miss it. Thanks for watching. See you in next video ya! Yeah.